Being a Wildcat doesn't mean you just show up to school every day. Oh no, it's more than that. A true Wildcat is all about engaging in athletics and many other activities around school. It's about getting involved and being more than just a student. Because as long as you are on this campus, you are valued. Being a part of all of that is why. Would you please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Megan. And I'm Lexi, and we're here with your morning announcements. Senior ads can still be designed and purchased online at yearbookordercenter.com until Monday, February 8th. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and you can only have one shot a year to make this day great. Hosa is selling Valentine's Day grams at 4th and 5th lunch, ranging from $0.50 cents to $3. All proceeds are going to the American Heart Association, so you can show your love. Now to a commercial break, and then over to sports with Alan and Gabe. One day, Peter was looking for a particular snack from the cove. As he passed the pickles on the way to the register, he pensively pondered his choices. Hey, Peter, are you picky about your pickles? I am a picky pickle picker. The Cove has a plethora of pickles to pick from, so that even the pickiest pickle picker can pick a personal pickle. Wow. Now selling pickles that even please Peter. Hey there, Wildcats. I'm Alan. And I'm Gabe, and we're here with your Willow Canyon sports update. There will be a boys' varsity basketball game at Williams Field High School tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And at the same time and date, our girls' varsity basketball team will have a home game against Williams Field High School. And on February 6th, varsity wrestling will have a match at 9 a.m. And that's all for sports. Now over to a public service announcement and the weather with Devin. Hey, you. You with the hat. Big Al, I need you. Big Al, interception successful. Who are you? We're the Hat Police. Yeah, Hat Police. And, and you, you need, need to, to take, take off your hat, hat Matt. Uh, okay. What's up, everybody, and welcome to We're Gonna Need a Bigger Theater. I'm your host, Tyler Valdembrini, and on this show, we talk about movies and other obscenities you might see at your local cinema. Now, let's ask the most important question. What movies are out this week? I'll show you. First off, we have Hail Caesar, the latest Coen Brothers film. These are the people that made some of the greatest movies of all time, like The Big Lebowski, No Country for Old Men, Fargo. This movie, though, in particular, is about a Hollywood fixer, Eddie Mannix, who solves problems for movie stars in the industry. But when one of the biggest stars in the industry has gone missing, it's up to Mannix to find out what happened. Next up, we have Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Now, this movie is an adaptation of a book that's a, it's a satire on, an, on another book with a similar title, but zombies aren't in it. But this one has zombies. And I guess they thought, like, zombies are popular. And I guess Pride and Prejudice is popular, so you get the most popular thing of all time, I guess. This film's of much interest to any IB seniors out there who have taken IB English and have just wrapped up Pride and Prejudice, the work that this piece of work satiring on. And if you thought that book was good and you thought it could use a, like a zombie or two in there maybe, I'd say check it out. Both films will be premiering this Friday, February 5th, so don't miss them. Well, folks, that's all I have for you today. My name's Tyler. This is We're Gonna Need at a Bigger Theater, and I think I should change the name and make it a little shorter, because that's, that's kind of wordy. 
What is up, Wildcats? It's your boy Devin with the weather again. Today's going to be a high 62 and a low of 30. All right, let's see the rest of the week now. The rest of the week will be highs in the 60 to 70 range and lows in the 30 and 40 range. It should be pretty much sunny for the, like, the whole rest of the week. Hey, thank you guys so much for paying attention. I appreciate the comments and stuff you left in the box. Let's go back to your main anchors now. Thank you, Devin, for that weather update. Tomorrow and Saturday, film and broadcast, digital, cinema, and yearbook students will be competing at SkillsUSA Regionals. Wish them luck. Robotics will be meeting today and Friday in room 400 after school. On Tuesdays, there are media club meetings in room 604 at 2.30. Then on Wednesdays, head over to Ms. McTag's room for a photo club meeting at 2.30. STEM Club will be meeting this Friday in room 400 after school. That's tomorrow. Awesome. And my club is selling some awesome t-shirts for only $10. Don't forget to pay the treasurer. Then you can go to their super cool spring lock con this semester. See Ms. Dalton for more details. Theater received a superior with distinction for their performance of the Yellow Boat and will be invited to compete at the state level in February. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. If you have any announcements, please send them into our email, wchsannouncements15 at gmail.com. And that's all the news we have for you today. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great Dice Art Day. Dice Art Day.